Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I got an email from our sister, Crystal. Um, she goes by Lighthouse331. I think if she comments, that's what you would see her. But she really um, doesn't comment much. She does. Uh, anyway, she sent this. And I need to share it. And I'm so glad I didn't accidentally delete it like I do some of the other things. Anyway, she says, Hello. I knew you'd appreciate this. People need to know. I don't know how she makes her email this big, but uh, I see it real good. Uh, she said, people need to know they can't do this and go to heaven. That's not what you think. Keep listening. And the devil knows it. Pray for all who are thinking of taking their own lives. Very important. Love, Crystal. She says, he got a taste of both. Both what? Some people need the fright of landing there in hell, knowing they won't ever get out. But the absolute worst thing of all would be separated from the Lord for all time. No heaven. All right, now, she titled this a comment I'm glad he shared. All right, someone named Michael. Michael M. said, You are correct. Apparently it was a video about not, Do not take your own life. We're not, Thou shalt not commit murder is the commandment. Although we go by now the new commandments. But murder is one of them that falls under love thy neighbor as thyself. You are commanded to love yourself. And you wouldn't kill yourself if you loved yourself. If you knew this, maybe some people think they're going to take these pills and go, Lord, forgive me, please take me into heaven. And they think they're going to go to heaven. I don't know, because if you die and they don't come back, then you don't hear their testimony. So I don't know. So let's read this. He says, you are correct. I, okay, that stops here. I died at age 14 as a suicide. It is real. And far, far worse than many think. A very dark place. So many atheists are in for a surprise. And by then it will be too late. Yeah, a lot of them actually believe they're going to... Why would I want to go to hell? What? Why wouldn't I want to go to hell? All my friends are going to be there. We're going to party for eternity. I have actually heard that. I can't remember where. But it was like shocking. How can you be so stupid? That's a lie from the devil someone's bought into. Alright. So anyway. This person is saying that 14 he tried to commit suicide. And he went to hell. He said it is a long story. So I will not go into it. But at the great abyss. Before I had crossed over to the other side. And staring at the three angels of death, I fell to my knees and cried out for God to help me. Next, an intense beam of warm light covered me, and I floated up into it and did not want to leave it. I felt so safe. Next, I was back, and there was a tag on my toe, and a person said, you won't be needing this anymore. I was on my way to the morgue. My advice to people is to read the New Testament every day. He doesn't mean the whole thing, obviously. Read in the New Testament. That's what I tell people that are especially new believers. Read the words of Jesus. And know what it means to be filled with the Holy Spirit by reading Acts. That's the first five books. And then go where the Lord leads you from there. Read it with a hunger for wanting to know. All right, I'll move on. Read the New Testament every day and pray every day and repent of all you have done wrong. Of all you have done wrong, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and live a life doing good things as best you can as best you can and tell others amen 
that was a wonderful, uh, quick but good testimony, was it not? All right, now here's a uh, lighthouse. Thank you so much for sharing that, Michael. I am also glad that the Lord saved me from my suicide attempts. I used to think he would forgive us if that were our last words to him. But no, we cannot take the life he gave us and it won't be forgiven. I am so glad he didn't let me die now. There was much more to do and other people to take care of too. And it devastates our loved ones. Then I got the spirit of suicide cast out of me and knew you can't take your own life. And it's what the devil tries to make people do to lose their salvation. I never wrestled with it again. We go when God calls us home. Praise God he saved you too. I pray no one else takes their own life in these rough times. Hang on a while longer. It will be so worth it. We have waited for him as in the Psalms. Bless you. Praise the Lord. Wonderful, wonderful. Glad I did not accidentally delete this one. And I pray that you could share this with anybody you know who has attempted and maybe they didn't die, didn't go there, or just anyone who has said, oh, I believe people would still go to heaven if they were good and they just got desperate. You know, I wanted to believe that myself, but I always questioned, you know, how can it be okay to do that? And I never, when I, I had, I got rid of my demons too. And one of them was well, a, a, a demon of depression. Another separate one was a demon of suicide. Where did I get them? I, I'm not sure unless it's because when I first got the diagnosis of MECFS, they said it was...